I'm going to show you how to design this laundry shop flyer with CorelDRAW 2020. Without any further ado, let's go into the video. Hello you guys, my name is Dennis. Welcome and welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn graphic design and how to make creative designs, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you get notified when I upload another video like this one. So these are the resources I'll be using for this tutorial and I'm going to open up my Corel Draw. Once you open up your Corel Draw 2020, the next thing you see is this screen here where you see recent jobs you've done and you see where you have new documents. So you click here and you see this dialog box pops up. Next thing you need to do is to set the color mode you'll be working on and primarily I'll be working with CMYK and the next thing I'm going to do is to change my size to A5. Basically you can still make this size after you've opened up your workspace but you can still set it here on the dialog box. So I'm going to set my size to A5 and the next thing you need to set is the dimension you need to be working with like the units you need to work with that is inches i'm going to set it to inches and my flyer is going to be a portrait flyer not a landscape flyer so i'm going to click on portrait and you see resolution 300 dpi and you see 72 dpi remember 72 dpi is only for digital designs but since this design is going to be for print i'm going to leave it at 300 dpi so everything on this dialog box is set you can leave the rest as it is but the next thing you like to do is to give your job a name but even after this you can still set it when you are done with the design job okay now i'm going to type in the name i'll be using to save this work to make this tutorial understandable okay so i'm going to type in laundry flyer that is the file name i'll be using to save the job so i'm going to click ok and automatically it pops up this way Sorry, the job opened up as landscape. That is to say, I mistakenly click on landscape. So you can still click here, portrait to make it portrait, just as you can see. And this is where you can set your size. If you need to change your size again, you can set your size here. And if it's a customized size, you can type in the dimension here. Remember, we are working with inches. Next thing you want to do is to double click on the rectangle tool here and you get this shape round the a5 size and it gives you an accurate a5 size when you double click on the rectangle tool so you right click here to take off the outline and you can give it a white color for the main time while we will still add other colors as the design proceeds so the next thing i'm going to do is to bring in my resources which i've made here copy all of them out and bring it to corel draw so these are all the resources i'll be using for this design first thing i'm going to do is to set my resources how i want them to be so i'm going to bring this image here and you can scatter the images like this so you see them one after the other and you know how to place them on your design okay okay i'm going to take them to this other side the first image i'll pick here is this right click and drag and leave it at the shape then you see power clip inside let me do this again so you understand Click on the object you want to power clip, right click. And one tip I'll give to you is anytime you are designing a flyer like this that has pictures, pictures should always be inside a power clip while your text can always be on top of your design. So that is the main reason why I need to power clip this picture. So you can right click on the picture and click on power clip inside and bring it here, then place it inside the shape. But if you don't want to do that, you can still right click and hold, then drag it to your shape and leave then you see power clip inside so i'm going to click on power clip inside then the picture comes into this shape like this press alternate on your keyboard and click on this picture so you can edit the picture inside the power clip i'm going to hold shift on my keyboard and reduce this like this and place it here this is okay next up i'm going to bring in these two pictures right click and drag Remember, I had to select the two pictures by pressing shift and select the two pictures. Then bring it to the shape. The same method you use in power clipping the first picture. You see power clip inside. You click and the two pictures are inside the power clip. What I'm going to do to open up this power clip now is to press alternate on my keyboard and click on the shape. Automatically, the power clip opens. You can see the pictures here are inside the power clip. While these other pictures that are shown as white in shadows, they are all outside the power clip. 
but when i power clip all these pictures they won't appear like this anymore okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to reduce the size of these two pictures so i select the both of them press shift while reducing this and bring it to this position here and place them accordingly like this so this looks very cool i can bring in this other picture to the top by pressing ctrl page up on my keyboard ctrl page up will help you to bring objects to the top of your design well control page down send objects back the design okay so this is how i want it to look so it looks very real as it is like this all you have to work on is to scale your picture size perfectly and make sure your picture is centralized on the design you can see the space here and the space here are equal so you it won't look as if your design is falling off to one side remember balance is one of the principles of design so you have to obey that principle whenever you are placing elements in your design so to close this power clip i can press ctrl on my keyboard and click outside the design then the power clip is closed you can see these other elements are now visible next up i'm going to bring in other elements of this design like this to select both of them right click and drag to the shape and leave then you see power clip inside now i'm going to show you one quick tip when doing this power clip effect like you right click and drag to the shape take note once the icon changes to this icon you can see the my my mouse icon has changed that is when you are eligible to power clip but if it does not change that is if the icon shows like this you can see this other icon how it looks like it won't allow you to power clip and this happens whenever you are not on the shape for example this picture is here and you right click and drag you can see the icon has not changed yet it looks somehow but if you take it to where the shape is eligible where the shape will allow you to power clip you see the icon change to this and when you leave you see that option power clip inside but without that without that particular icon you can't power clip inside now this is one thing people reach out to me that they can't use that pattern to power clip because of this same issue that's why i have to take time to explain it very well so you understand so click on power clip inside and the object goes inside the shape next thing i'm going to do is to open up my power clip again by pressing ctrl click on the shape double click if you click once it doesn't work then double click on the shape and it opens up like this then you can select the elements and reduce them like this then you place them accordingly where you want them to be like i would like this electric ion to be here and this i'll reduce it again and place it here this looks very nice and it looks okay so i like the position where it is press ctrl on your keyboard and click outside the design next up i'm going to insert my background which i'll be using to make this design and this is the background okay so i'm going to open up the background bring it here right click and drag using the same power clip option when you reach the shape then you see this option you click on power clip inside and the background goes inside the shape so i'm going to press alternate and click this uh background and press ctrl page down now the work of pressing alternate to click a background helps you to select an object inside the power clip without you going inside the power clip i've explained this in almost all my tutorials and i'll keep on explaining it so you get your understanding okay and the quick tip i'm going to link up all these resources down the video description so you can get the resources and make your own design and send it to me on instagram so i see how it looks like okay next thing i'm going to do is to press control on my keyboard double click on the shape to open up my power clip again so i can set my background very well the way i want it to be i believe this position for the background looks very cool okay and i'm going to click on transparency to press shift on your keyboard and add transparency down like this click and drag down like this now there is one tip you need to know black height and white reveals so when you have the black on your background it hides and when you have the white on your background it reveals okay and you leave so this is what you see basically once you apply transparency black height and white reveals where you have the white it reveals and when you have the black it hides so the black has hidden the down part of this background so we won't have that sharp edge on the background press ctrl and click outside your design then you have this look on your design okay and the next thing i'm going to do is to add a color to this okay i'm going to add blue color I click on blue 
but i don't want this particular type of blue i want my blue to look a little bit light so i'm going to press ctrl and click on cyan so you have this soft look blue okay you see it begins to hide okay so that is the type of blue i need basically but you know what that blue is not going to be there all i want to do is to press alternate and select my background that is the bubble background so i'm going to click on transparency to click on merge mode and you see screen you click on screen that is the type of background i need so the next thing i'm going to do is to open up my power clip like this and you see how the background looks like it's because i've converted to screen that is why it looks this way okay click outside the power clip to close what i'm going to do is i want my blue color down here to come up so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to return this background to normal remember we changed it to screen but i'm going to return it to normal why i need to do this is if i convert this background to bitmap the transparency effect that is the screen effect will make the background to be completely white so i'm going to click on transparency tool and return click on match mode and return this to normal okay then open up the power clip and click on the shape click on bitmap click on convert to bitmap and click on cmyk okay so this looks cool why i had to convert to cmyk because this design is going to be for print so i leave it at cmyk so i'm going to click on transparency to and add transparency to the top part of my design press control while doing this remember black height and white reveal so where i have black it hides and where i have white it reveals this looks okay click on match mode again and click on screen and this looks nice click on your pick tool press control click outside to close and you can see my blue background fills up here with this and that looks very cool now i'm going to click on interactive view to press shift on your keyboard click and drag so you have this white down here and that is how i want it to be where i have the white background down here and the blue background up here you see how it looks like it looks very cool and nice click on your pick tool to see how it looks like it looks very perfect okay next up i'm going to bring in this uh washing machine power clip inside and press alternate to select then adjust it like this you can mirror it horizontally like this and bring it here click on transparency to and click on fountain transparency to have this type of transparency here then you can fill it this way black here and white here white reveals black height so you hide this side of the shape click on your pick tool press ctrl page down to send the background to the back of your design and it looks very cool you can see how it looks like it looks very cool and nice you can reveal a little okay that's perfect okay next up i'm going to bring in this bubble actually this bubble was downloaded from google website i didn't go through any particular website i just went to google and download this png bubble and i had to take off the background of the bubble on my own if you don't know how to take off the background of any picture i'll put a link down in the description where you watch a video on how to take off the background of any image okay so you can watch that later click on the bubble background and this looks as if it has enough space i'm going to click on my shape tool to shape this bubble like this select these two nodes and bring it closer select these two nodes and bring it closer so it looks very nice this way bring it to your design and i'll convert it to cmyk bitmap okay do the same to this other bubble convert to cmyk bitmap that looks nice reduce it and bring it here and bring this here reduce this and keep it here then you can always duplicate the bubble and keep duplicating it to any area you want reduce this and place it here okay duplicate and reduce the size this looks perfect duplicate and bring it here you can duplicate this I believe that okay i will reduce the size of this one and this one again and i will reduce the size of this one then i'm going to type in my text on this design click on your text tool and type this okay laundry service okay i'm going to break my text like this 
and press Ctrl K to break your text. Remember, Ctrl K helps to break text like this. You can see the text are now different. Okay. Next up, I'm going to change my typeface to Dead Star. That is the typeface I'll be using for this company name. Okay. Click here and search for Dead Star. So that is the typeface I'll be using for this. Open it up and bring it here. Convert it to white. Perfect. And do the same to this. Now, I wouldn't like to separate this laundry service because I want both of them to be together. So I'm going to cut this and click here. Enter and paste. So they work together. I use my shape tool to adjust this together like this. But I'm going to change this to dead star also. So I'm going to adjust it again. It looks perfect. Bring it here and leave it here. This looks very nice here. Okay, click on your pen tool and let's create this custom shape. Click here and follow the shape of this Y and create this shape like this. Press shift on your keyboard to get a straight line here and click. Then bring it to this side. Press shift to get a straight line. Click. Press shift to get a straight line and click and join it to this one. Perfect. Give it a um, red color. Right click here to take off the outline. Click on your interactive fill tool and fill it with yellow. This looks perfect. Bring this down a little to eliminate the red and make it orange here. This looks okay. Fine. Press control page down to send this to the back. Select this and reduce a little and give it white. Perfect. Then you can see whites do not go well with yellow or that. So I'm going to eliminate this yellow here by clicking on my interactive view tool and take this upwards a little to eliminate the yellow a little. And that looks perfect. And I'll click on the laundry service and give it a shadow like this. Now, all what I'm doing here is to work on my company name to see how I can make it look creative. You may be working on a different company name. All you have to do is to make sure you work with text and make sure your texts are always set in such a way that it's very creative. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is to click on my K here and right click on San to get this outline here. You can press Ctrl Q to curve the font so you can have hairline. So you click here to give this 1.5 point of hairline. Okay, press control and right click on blue to make this color a little bit uh, thicker and that's perfect. Then you can click on drop shadow to and click on this to copy shadow properties and click on the shadow we had here already. So it copies the same shadow properties of laundry service. So you can select all and press Ctrl G to group. Open it up again, click and rotate it this way. This looks perfect. Think I'm in love with this. But it looks as if it's too slanty. So I'm going to reduce it again, rotate it again. Now when you click on any object and you see this round curve, you can convert it to a curve like this. You can rotate it just as I did. Okay, that's perfect. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to type in the location of this laundry shop. Okay, so I'm going to click on my rectangle tool and create a shape like this. Give it white color and right click it to take off the outline. Then next up, I'm going to click on my text tool and type this Then I'm going to change it to Tahoma and that's the typeface I'll be working with here and bring it here. Now you can always use your location icon to make this design pop. Then the next thing I'm going to bring in my location icon to this. So I'm going to bring in a location icon and the location icon is black but I would like it to be red. So I'm going to click on trace bitmap, outline trace and line art. Then this dialog box pops up. Then you click on OK. And you can see it converts itself to bitmap. Then you can give it red color while you delete this bitmap away. I've been able to change the bitmap to vector. That's why I'm able to change the color. So I'm going to reduce it like this and bring it here. Reduce it again. Almost the same height with your text and it's okay. Then you can adjust this shape like this. Okay, 
click and select both and press ctrl g then click here click on shape tool then you get this node then you click here and give it this curve like this this looks perfect select all and press e good press ctrl g and take it upwards then you rotate it again to fit the pattern of the co company name of the company name then you take it up a little and this looks perfect press shift on your keyboard and select your shape and press c to centralize everything you can do the same to the company name to centralize and this looks okay next thing i'm going to do is to type in other information i need to type in here so i'm going to bring this down here Next thing I'm going to do is to copy out the text which I've already typed on Microsoft Word and copy it to CorelDRAW. Control C and bring it to CorelDRAW. Click on your text tool, click here and press Control V to paste. And you see this dialog box, you can click on this card font and formatting because I don't want to use the settings of my Microsoft. Then I'm going to copy this out first. Control X, click here and press Control V. Change my typeface to Tahoma and click here to give it 12 points and this is perfect bring it here and you can select our services and make it bold and you can give it red color while you give it a yellow background like this using your rectangle tool you can create this shape click on your shape tool to give it this curve like this and give it yellow color but I need this deep yellow so I'm going to click and click on deep yellow right click on this where you have this red x here and you get this outline off press ctrl page down to send this shape to the back then you can use your shape tool to adjust the line spacing like this so it looks readable the text can be readable okay select all and press ctrl g to group and bring it up here this looks perfect okay then you can bring in this other text again copy this out ctrl x and paste this then i can okay break the text like this change this to tahoma as well centralize and give it 12 points okay make it bold and give it red color then you bring it sorry then you bring it here it looks perfect then you can reduce this icon a little because i want to put the phone numbers here copy out the phone numbers and press ctrl x and paste all these informations are custom informations your own design may be different from this so just be careful when you are choosing your options okay then you click here and make it 12 points bring it down here you can make it bold as well because it's someone's phone number and that is very important on the design group this and centralize this with this perfect you can click this and select or press ctrl x it seems my sentence was not well made so i'm going to click on text change case to sentence case okay certainly correct okay and i'm going to make this capital letter a then i'm going to change my typeface to bernard bernhard okay that's the typeface i would like to use here you can choose any other typeface for this it's just have to be a cursive typeface like this then you give it red color give it an outline so it makes it bold then you centralize this you can easily take it up a little and this looks perfect so i think this is the end of our design i'm going to group this and preview it like this so you see how it looks like so this is the final look of our design let me know down in the comments if this tutorial was helpful and don't forget to like and share this video to others so they can also learn from the light science graphics for tips and tricks live design reviews and q and a join dennis live every saturday 8 o'clock pm nigerian time thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you next time